Hi, I'm back. Um, I'll get rid of that. Um, I just want to go through my detox experience because it was one of the most terrifying, life-changing things I've ever been through in my life. And it's Halloween, so it's quite scary as well. So, right, I wrote it down. It was in um, April when I relapsed. Um, I was drinking half a litre of vodka a day. Yeah. Um, this happened for like three weeks and I was just in a state. I was falling over. I was like no one knew either. Um, I was falling over in the bath, um, just covered in bruises, just staying in, drinking all the time, lying to people. I was like so depressed, but I knew I could like stop again. So I took like I just thought, oh, I'm gonna do this. this is, uh, if I don't do with anything now, I'm gonna die. So, yeah, I decided to detox myself, which is not a good idea to do. If you're like alcohol dependent, because you could have seizures and stuff, it's happened to me before. Um, but I was just desperate and I didn't wanna go through the whole procedure again where I have to go to like the alcohol rehab place and get the pills to detox because it takes it takes months it's ridiculous so i did it the dangerous way and just uh stop drinking all together like like drink little bits at a time and then if i felt like i was having a seizure then i would um drink some vodka um, anyway, I wrote this down. I wrote this on the 1st of May. So... Right, I felt like I was going through hell. This was the worst experience of my life. Every time I closed my eyes, I would see demons. That was strange, because like, it's like nothing I've seen before. Like, I, every time I closed my eyes, I was like seeing stuff. But it was like evil. I don't know, because I've never seen stuff like that before in my life. Like, not even in films or anything. Like, things that I've never... It's hard to explain. They were like ancient, like ancient drawings, but like I've never seen anything like that. Like horrible stuff. Um, and every time I closed my eyes, so it was ter terrifying trying to sleep. Um, not that I could. Um, I didn't sleep for three days. I was sweating like crazy. I felt like this is what it's like to be possessed by like. The devil, like the exorcist, doesn't it? Because it was, uh, it was insane. I was, I wasn't. It's so, it's not painful. It's just you're so desperate and you feel so sick. You're sweating, you're shaking. It's like, ooh, I don't know. It's horrible. No one, I wouldn't wish that on the worst enemy. It's like that scene in Train Spotting when he's deep, like when he gets locked in the room and he's like detoxing from heroin, but. Obviously, it's probably not as worse as that, but it was pretty bad. Um, yeah, so I felt I was like possessed. Um, I felt like the demons were taken over and had to fight so hard against them. But I felt like I was weak because I felt like someone was something was there helping us fight them, and like I don't know what it was. I don't know. It was strange. Like there was a presence there. Um. I felt like I was definitely going to die. I thought it was like, going to be the end. I thought I was going to join the 27 Club because I've always joked about that from friends. But I just thought it was going to happen because it was like, oh. It was just, I've never been so close to death in my life. Um, but I think like someone, something new that it wasn't my time to go. Which is strange. It was weird. It's so strange, like a spiritual experience. Um, I was drinking so much water. I felt like I was going to drown. Something kept telling us I needed to keep drinking water, water, water. I'm going to the toilet, obviously. Um, lots of water. Um, and I was just lying in bed, just sweating. Just sweating and sweating and sweating. And it was horrible. I was just wanted it to end. I was like praying to every, everyone, everything. To the universe. David Bowie. <laughs> just praying to everyone. God. Everyone. Like I would think of. 
um, yeah, sweating, or sweating buckets. Um, then I was just lying there and I had like an out of body experience. It wasn't uh, sleep paralysis because I've had that loads of times and I know what that's like. Uh, that's terrifying as well. Um, but it was like an out of body experience. Um, it was like I wasn't even asleep, but I, I don't know, it was strange, I can't explain it. Anyway, um, anyway, I was just lying there and I opened my eyes. Like it wasn't a dream. And like the whole room was covered in mould, it was like really dark. And I was terrified and never experienced anything like that in my life. And I thought I was like, is this it? Is this like, am I in hell? Like this is eternity now. Um, yeah, and I woke up, well I didn't wake up, I was in the outer body experience, the room was covered in mould, got up, went to the bathroom, looked in the mirror, I was covered in like rot and mould, it was horrible, and then I had an alcohol seizure, which is like my worst fear, because it's a horrible thing to have, have to happen, um, I had an alcohol seizure, then I collapsed. And then, from there, I just woke up again, and the same thing happened again. I woke up, room was covered in mould, walked to the bathroom, looked in the mirror, then another alcohol seizure, then bam, felt on the floor, woke up in my bed. The same thing kept happening over and over again, and I was like, this is it, this is my life now. This, this, is, what, this is what happens, because you've lived such a stupid crap life and it's you've not done anything with it and you just turned to alcohol and drugs and stuff like that and this is what you get for that I was like I thought it was like hell like it wasn't there was no fire no demons it was just on repeat and you knew it in your head like this is it that you could think to yourself but you would do the same thing over and over again and it seemed like it lasted a lifetime it was probably only like five minutes or something. But then I just, I just like, once I hit the floor again in the Agabari experience, I woke up in the bed and I didn't get up. The room wasn't covered in mold, my God. <laughs> and I realized, oh, I've been given a chance here. This is like, this is something, this. Uh, that I was shown that for a reason. Like it sounds really, I wouldn't say religious, but I would, it's more spiritual for me, because I'm not a religious person. But it was, it was like a mind-bending experience, which taught you like a really deep lesson. And like you're wasting your life, and it just, it just woke me up. Anyway, something else happened that night. Um, blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a bit where um, it was like a, it wasn't an out of body experience. It, I was in bed. Um, I can't. It wasn't sleep paralysis again. Um, but I was in bed. I couldn't move, which is kind of like sleep paralysis. Um, but then I saw like roses were popping up, popping up all around us throughout my bed, like pop, 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 like roses, which was I was like, what's going on? Like, I was terrified, obviously, because th that doesn't happen. Um, and I thought, oh, am I, <laughs> again, am I dead? Is this, this is what happens when you die. Like, flowers popping up around you. And then, like, it sounds really, like, cliche and stuff. But then I saw, I was, like, watching myself live, like, the best, like, the best and worst moments of my life. I was, like, going through my life, like, a flashback. And I was like, oh, this is what happens, like, films and stuff. People, like, uh have a, a life flashes before the eyes <laughs> I was like oh this is it like oh what's going on but I was like it was weird because I was watching myself in the dream well I, I'll call it a dream because I didn't know what it was but I wasn't I don't know what god knows <laughs> but it was strange um yeah I thought that was it again I thought like oh I'm gonna die like say your goodbyes <laughs> not that you could um then I started like praying again, like, oh my God, please, I don't want to die. And um, it was, 
I just you know I was like I was ready to die but I was like oh I feel like I haven't done anything I haven't filled my purpose in life what's the point of me having this life just to waste it and die anyway my life was flashing before my eyes and then I suddenly just woke up and it's like oh my god what just happened again um and I just I made us into a different person. That whole experience. It's like. It wasn't like a drug trip or anything. Like I've taken drugs and stuff and tripped out. But this was something else. This was. Human body's weird. Uh, it just makes us believe that. It's like things out there. Like spiritual stuff. Stuff that I can't explain. Aliens maybe. I don't know. Um, anyway, I got from this, and it was like, because when you've detoxed, you just feel like you've run a marathon, marathon or whatever, and um, you're just lying in bed, you don't want to do anything, watch Netflix, obviously, um, you just feel awful, it's like the worst, I wouldn't call it a hangover, it's like, it feels like you're dying, like hangover for times 100, maybe, but something in my head was telling us, like, get up, on, get up. And you know what it feels like after a hangover, you don't want to do anything. Um, get up, uh, go and have a shower, that's the best thing you can do, really. It's, it's so hard to have a shower. I had a full beard as well, because I didn't shave for like two weeks. Um, but yeah, I looked like I was horrendous. Um, so I just got up, I forced myself to go in the shower. It's one of the hardest things you do when you past detoxing, um, did that, went back to bed, tried to obviously sleep, because you haven't had any sleep for three years, it's just, it just messes with your mind as well, maybe that's what all this stuff was, but yeah I did that, and then there was like something in my head going, get up, do something, I was like, oh what, like, I don't want to, I'm so tired, I just don't want to, but I was like, get up and do something. Anyway, this kept happening. Um, got rid of all my empty bottles, like tons of vodka bottles and stuff. Took them to recycling. Um, cleaned the whole bathroom, which <laughs> who does want? Who wants to do that when they're like dying? Once like come over, uh, cleaned the whole. I ended up cleaning up the whole house, and I felt so much better after I cleaned everything. I was like detoxing the house as well. Um, but I was so tired, but it made me feel great. I did my laundry, I changed the bedding because it was covered in sweat. It was disgusting, it was like drenched. Um, I did all that and I was like, I felt like a new person. And obviously I was still super tired, but after doing all that, I still didn't sleep good well, well for the last the next couple of days, but it takes a while to get proper into the zone and the back to normal. But ooh, that was weird, weird three three days. Um, just, oh, it was just life changing. Like, I'm glad I had that experience because the first time I detoxed, I was on. They give us these pills from the rehab where like you take these pills and it just detoxes you like every day. But this I did it myself and it was like the hardest thing I've ever done. You've got a bottle of vodka, you drink it, the yeah, all well alcohol would drink the whole bottle, but you've got to keep it there until you feel like, oh I make sure you definitely need this because you just can't function like and you think I like I've had seizures before. You think you're gonna have a seizure. So Anyway, I ended up, I finished my detox and there was like still a bit of vodka left. And I was like, oh, you've done it, like, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, and you've had this experience that, not people get to experience. I don't know if I'm just crazy, but it's it changed us, it changed my life. Um, made me appreciate things, made me appreciate my friends, my family. And I just want to help people and um, do the same, like just help people in need and just 
I want to be a better person. Because I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to that hell that I went to. It's... If I was at oh, it was terrifying. Just being in that constant repet like repetitiveness. I can't say it. Um, just over and over again, which is your worst fear. And there's nothing you can do about it. And I feel like that, if that is hell, then I think no one wants to go there. I'd rather like, be burned with like demons and like, stabbing us with pitchforks and stuff than go through that. Like, see, I would be tortured. Because that is the worst kind of torture, I think. Just living the same day over and over again, and that's insanity. That's what alcoholic does as well. <laughs> that's the whole life. Anyway, um, thanks for watching, and I hope it was interesting. And I've got lots of other stories, but I don't know, I have to just think of stuff that I've, I've got so many. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.